Hey guys, it's Coupon Wins with Lens. It's another week of saving at Walgreens. Let's get in the store and go over the deals. Hit the like button and subscribe and stay tuned to the end of the video to see our breakdowns. So I went to Walgreens and forgot my purse so I could not pay for anything on my side account which was the one I was using. I could use touch pay with my main account but I just went ahead and went back home and made some pickup orders so let's go over those. Um, you can see on this pickup order this is the one that I did not have a booster on. I picked up two Icy Hot products. They were priced at $5.99 each and I had a $2 digital and a $3 digital so once that came off I paid $6.98 and I could redeem my Ibotta for $6. $3 back on each of them which makes it a final cost of $0.98 cents for both or $0.49 cents a piece. But to pay for that, I went ahead and did the Revlon Kiss Bomb deal this week, which is an awesome pickup deal if you can get your total over $10. Online, these Kiss Bombs are only priced at $3.69, which is an amazing price because in store they're like $4.99 or more. So I grabbed two of them for $7.38, used a four off two Kiss Bomb Digital, paid $3.38, got back a $5 register reward, making it a $1.62 moneymaker. So between the Icy Hot and the kiss bombs this ended up being like a 64 cent money maker an easy pickup deal this week if you have no booster then on my side account i wanted to do a deal with a spend 20 get five dollar digital booster so i decided to pick up two of the old spice they're on sale this week for two for 11 and when you buy two you get a four dollar cash reward and i have a five off three digital so to use that five off three digital i went ahead and grabbed an ivory body wash now this is priced at 379 and it also attaches to that same five off three digital so the total for all three products is 1479 i'll use that five off three digital pay 979 get back four dollars in walgreens cash making it 579 or a dollar 93 each but with my booster and my other deals, it was going to be a lot cheaper. So I went ahead and grabbed some other products to make this deal even better. I went for the Revlon deal again on a separate transaction. Remember, you have to do this in separate transactions. I grabbed two of these eyeshadow primers. It attached to a $9 off two digital coupon. So I went ahead and grabbed two of them for $13.98. Used that $9 digital. I would have to pay $4.98 out of pocket, but I would get back that $5 register reward, making it completely free, which is another great thing to add into this booster scenario with a $9 digital. That's a high value digital. I wanted to get my total over $40 so I could roll $20 in Walgreens cash and have a low out of pocket. So I grabbed two of these Colgate toothpaste. They were priced at $3.99 each, and when you buy two, you get $4 in Walgreens cash. And I had a three off two digital, so I'd pay $4.98 get four dollars making it 98 cents for two but again i had a booster so i thought it was going to be even better and the last things i decided to pick up were these oral b and crest toothpaste i grabbed the oral b floss at three dollars and the toothpaste at three dollars i had one dollar digitals on both of them separate ones so my total was six dollars before coupons i used two dollars worth of coupons so i would pay four dollars get back four dollars in walgreens cash making it completely free so let's go over the final scenario for this before we get back in the store and pick up a couple other deals. So if everything would have gone well, I would have grabbed $42.75 worth of product and I would have used $19 worth of coupons. Um, I'd roll $20 in Walgreens cash because $19 paid with the coupons. I needed to spend $1 to meet my spend booster, but it was $3.75 plus taxed, so I knew I'd be fine. So I rolled $20 in Walgreens cash, paid $3.75 plus tax out of pocket, and I would have gotten back $17 in Walgreens cash, $5 for the booster, $4 for the Colgate, $4 for the Crest, and $4 for the Old Spice, making it a final cost of like $1.75, which I was totally fine with. But of course, something was out of stock. I'll show you later. It ended up being super funky. I even put in for everything what they could substitute because I knew what they could substitute substitute to make it work. Um, they ended up giving me products and not ringing me out for them. So it kind of messed up my deal completely. So I'm going to go over that breakdown at the end of the video. But when you're doing a pickup order, I always, always, always suggest to put in a substitution is fine and with the same brand. And if you have something that you want specifically, go ahead and write it in the comments because I think they do listen to that. Anyways, that was what my transaction was going to be. But of course, it didn't work out as planned. So I will show you that later on in the video. 
but let's go ahead and get in the store and get into some other deals. So I found clearance on Revlon eye mascara when I was in the store, which is a hot deal because we have high value digitals and we get back a $5 register reward. These were priced at $4.39 a piece. I had a $7 off two digital. So I paid $1.78, got back a $5 register reward and making it a $3.22 moneymaker. I ended up doing this on my account and my husband's account. So a great little moneymaker both times. So since I had a cancellation on my pickup order, I didn't meet my spend booster. So I went ahead and tried to do a different scenario to make it work. Nivea products are on sale this week for buy one, get one half off. And when you spend 20, you get a $5 register reward. So I read that as $5 Walgreens cash in the store. So I really messed up. These three lotions total me $21.97. I could use a digital for $2 and two insert coupons that were $2 values. So I'd pay $15.97, get back $5 on Walgreens cash for the deal, which I thought was for the deal, but it was really a weird register reward. I'll show you at the end of the video. And hopefully a $5 when you spend 20, making it like $5.97 for three, which isn't bad. But the real deal is I thought there was an Ibotta rebate, but the Ibotta rebate ended up only being for Walmart, which is totally my fault. So I ended up making a return on this that you'll see later in the video. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and burn some Walgreens cash on this Wet n Wild clearance products. I found lots of products varying from $2.19 to $2.89. So I grabbed as many as I could. If it would have worked out like planned, there's a $1.50 IDC coupon that should work on all of these products. So it should have applied to all of them. However, we had an issue with that. You'll see later on. If it would have worked out perfectly, all the products before the IVC would have totaled $23.01. After the IVCs came off of each of them, it should have been $9.51. But I had a $1.50 digital and a two off two digital that applied. So it would have made the final cost $6.01. But this did not go as planned. You'll see later on in the video, I had to figure out what happened and still i'm not 100 percent sure but stay tuned to the end of the video to see the final final breakdown the last deal i want to show you is on these tweezers they're priced at 379 each so two of them would have totaled me 758 and then i would have gotten back a five dollar register reward and making them 258 final cost or a dollar 29 each which is not bad before we head home i want to go over the giveaway winner for the amazon gift card from last week Lim Pay is the winner. Go ahead and shoot me an email at coupon wins with Lynn so I can get that gift card to you as fast as possible. Let's get home and go over these final numbers. Y'all, we are doing our breakdown a little different today because we had some chaos at the Walgreens. We're in the kitchen. You can see my kitchen aid. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to show you how I was able to get all this stuff plus two more of these, one of each of them for about seven bucks, not a bad deal. I did have to go through it to get here though. So let's go into our breakdowns. So I started off with a pickup order with these items here. I showed you in the video why I picked up the certain items and how it was gonna turn out. It was gonna turn out to be an amazing deal, but of course they said they didn't have two of these in stock. So I put on the thing, any other eye product. They gave me the eye products in my bag, which I didn't notice till I got home but they did not check me out for the eye products. That is why you see no register reward here. So I got them free product, which whatever, I probably should take it back and give it to them because it's not supposed to be mine. Um, there's some pluses to this scenario and then there's some negatives. So the out of pocket ended up being super low, only 85 cents after tax, only 85 cents after paying with Walgreens cash, but these items not being on the receipt took me below the $20 mark. I was not able to get my $5 when I spent 20 in Walgreens cash. So I still had that booster on my account after this scenario because of these items not being in stock, even though here they are, they're in stock. Um, so it, a plus is end up being a little out of pocket. Another plus, they gave me random items. And then I also got really nice things for super cheap. Not an amazing deal, but it, it ended up being pretty okay after the mess up. Um, I got all of these things for about $7, which is pretty good for the Old Spice. So I'll show you what happened. Um, all the things worked out except for the Revlon. So I paid $18.77. It says I was gonna get back $17.22, but I did not get that $5 from Walgreens cash for when I spent 20 because the Revlon coupon was a high value digital. It was like a $9 digital. And that was going to help me pay for my spend booster. 
And of course, once they took those items off, I did not hit that. So I really got back $12.02, making this a cost of like $6.75, which I mean, I would not pay $6.75 for this in cash, but I used Walgreens cash, so not a bad deal. And my husband likes Old Spice and I've never used Ivory body wash. So I just was like, whatever, move on. We will move forward and it will be better. And of course it didn't get better. But I am going to show you an amazing pickup order that did work out. This is um, inspired by couponing with Kayla. I saw her post something like similar to this. I already had one of these in my cart. Um, but I went ahead and added another one because she had two digitals and so did I. Um, the Kiss Bombs are spitting out a $5 register reward. And I have a four off two digital. So it worked out pretty great. So all these items totaled up to 1036 after the coupons at a four off two Revlon Kiss Bomb, a $3 digital on Icy Hot and a $2 digital on Icy Hot. So I spent 1036 plus tax. And then I got back that $5 register reward and $3 for each of these Icy Hots on Ibotta, making this a nice little 64 cent moneymaker, which made me super happy after this big mess up. So I was happy about this pickup order. So if you need a nice little quick, no booster needed pickup order, this is a great one. Um, then I went in store <laughs> and I was trying to use my, I was trying to get crazy and use my booster, but also pay with Walgreens cash because I did not get that booster, um, the credit for that booster on this transaction. So I was going to try to beat that in store. You can see in the store, I picked up Nivea. I was not paying attention again, which go figure it happens. It happens to all of us. So I wasn't paying attention again. And the Nivea breathable rebate on Ibotta was not for Walgreens. So of course, it, I returned it. Um, you can see on this receipt, I'll show you what, how much it cost me with the Nivea. So I, it was $28.26 and I rolled $20 in Walgreens cash and got back $5. So on the Nivea, it said get back a $5 reward. I assumed it was gonna be cash rewards. I think it ended up being this the store coupon I don't know so once I only saw that I was giving back five dollars I knew that was for my booster so this wasn't worth it to me because it's a store coupon it's not a manufacturer coupon so I went ahead and returned that because that was an insane amount of money to spend on Nivea when I was getting back a store coupon not a not Walgreens cash rewards so I end up getting all of the stuff that you see here um, I spent 28 over here, but I 28, 26, I returned it 21, 20, or I returned 21, 97. That was all the Nivea. So that made all of this cost up here, seven dollars and 60 cents before any rewards. But of course for the Revlon, I got back this $5 register reward. And then I got back this $5 on your next purchase cosmetics coupon. I think it's because I bought the, Rev, the, the wet and wild, but I'm not hundred percent sure. Obviously, I got to keep this, and then I kept my $5 in Walgreens cash. So that made this like a huge moneymaker, but I had that huge return. So you can look at it either way. Like either I spent still $28.26, um, but I got different products, or I made the return, and it made it like a $13.40 moneymaker. So they gave me back a gift card for $20 on this, which it wasn't a gift card. It was a merchandise card, and those don't really help us in any way. You can't use those to pay for a spend deal. So I went ahead and just took the issue here that I had, the big frustrating thing that I had over here, and I turned it into something good by buying paper products. You only see two here. I actually ended up buying two Scott and two Scott toilet paper. So one, two of each of these, which before coupons totals $20. Um, but we have that $1.25 IVC coupon. So I used that and I got two more Revlon Kiss Bombs. This is a separate account. And I had a $4 digital, so you can see right here, all that stuff, all four of those paper products and the Revlon totaled me up to $20.98. Um, I used that gift card. So my final numbers will include that gift card and like me spending it. So I'm not like cheating out how much I spent. I'm really counting it in that I failed and I have a big, I had a big issues. So right here it says I spent $20.98. Really that's the $20 I spent over here. Just reincarnated into this. So I ended up spending 98 cents plus tax and I got like a $5 register reward. So really I'm looking at it like this is a money maker. 
and this was a cost of $16.98. So it like balances out. I'm not counting the re, I'm not counting the rewards and the bonuses twice. Literally, I'm acting like I got all my money back here and I took the money that I spent here, used it over here, and this is what we came up with. <laughs> so that's where we're at. I spent $20.98, got back a $5 register reward and a dollar over on Fetch for the Scott products, which was awesome. And then finally, I ended up doing this transaction just with my main card because I didn't get a booster on that account today. So I went ahead and did these two deals with my main card and the rest of it on my side card, which I don't know. Walgreens has frustrated me this week, so I'm doing the best I can. Um, over here, we have this receipt. If you don't wanna do anything else this week, I suggest doing this deal and this deal. You'll have a money maker on your hands. The Revlon mascara were on clearance for $4.39 each. They rang up for $8.78. I used the $7 digital, paid $178, got back this $5 register reward, making it a nice little like $3 and 20 something cent money maker, which is exciting. So this and this really saved the rest of it. Also buying the Scott made me super happy. So yes, it was kind of a fail kind of week, but I kind of tried to recover and get, and think smarter, not harder to make my deals better and not worse. Um, you can see here, I got all of this great items. So I'm excited to um, have these. After the IVC, they were super cheap. Like this was only uh, 99 cents. This Wet n Wild. Oh no. You guys, this was a mess. Whatever. I still bought it. Not a big deal. The IVC was supposed to come off all of the products and it did not. So not sure what happened there i ended up spending more than i should have right here which i just figured out right now but i'm so happy with everything um i ended up also getting three of these spend boosters maybe next week will be my week at walgreens <laughs> this helps with all this mess um Anyways, the final cost for all, all this stuff ended up being $6.47. And really my out of pocket costs today were not super high. Like right here, I spent 37 cents in taxes. Um, I spent 98 cents plus tax on this receipt. On this receipt, I spent um, $1.76 of taxes. Um, and then on this receipt, I only spent 85 cents. And on this receipt, I ended up spending like eight twenty six plus tax, but I got back like four bucks in cash and that $20 gift card. So it wasn't a whole lot out of pocket. I did lose about $7 in Walgreens cash overall, but I'm still happy. I'm still grateful. This and I really like all the items that I got. Let me know what deals you're doing at Walgreens this week. I'm gonna go look into this issue and maybe make a return. So it looks like what happened, we have the Revlons over here, that was a different deal. But on these Wet n Wilds, it looks like that IVC coupon came off of all of these products, but did not come off of these. I thought I had scanned all of the products in Walgreens, but apparently I just scanned these into the Walgreens app and there's no IVC. I'm not sure if that's because it already disappeared from my account or if it just doesn't work on these water drop primers. So really guys, um, if you don't purchase these and you get these items or you get these items up here, um, it's a way better deal. Uh, these have manufacturers anyways and the IVC. These only have the IVC, so I thought. So really I spent an extra like 750 on these. So your girl might be returning them because I don't really need them. I thought I was getting them for like super cheap. Um, again, the IVC worked on all of these and did not work on these. So if you take that off of my cost, really, this was kind of a money maker. I don't know. Not really. Cause I spent some out of pocket and I had a bunch of messes, mess ups, but yes, I, I don't know. If you have any insight on this, let me know. I would love to hear it down in the comments. Um, let me know what you would do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might try and sell them this week at my yard sale or something. We will see or give them away as Christmas presents. Let me know what you would do, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!